In this video, I'll show you how to set up your brother MFC L2710DW with your PC computer. This way you'll be able to print and also use the scanner through the Wi-Fi. So let's get started. The first step is to actually connect your brother printer to the Wi-Fi network. So go over here on the control panel and we're going to press the menu button, this one. Then we need to use these arrows to navigate through the menu. Go down, go down another time, another time, another time until you see network number five. Then press OK. Go down in this menu until you see WLAN Wi-Fi. Press OK. Then we need to select the first option. Click the OK button. Click the up button to enable Wi-Fi. It will now search for every networks that are around the printer and to shuffle through them, click the up or down arrow. Once you see your Wi-Fi network name appearing on the screen, press OK. Now it's time to type the password. Obviously it does not have a keyboard. The only thing that this printer has is this number pad over here. You're going to notice it also has letter for each number. Let's say you want to type a number, well go ahead and type a number. If you want to type a letter, press the number pad associated with the letter you want to type. Let's say I want to type a U multiple times. So for a U I'll press once, twice, three times and the letter U will appear. If you want to type a symbol, click on the star and a symbol list will appear and then with the left and right arrows you'll be able to select it. Press OK once you want to select the symbol if your password contains one. If you click on the hashtag sign you're gonna get even more symbol in case they were not in the first um, symbol menu over here. If you want to type a capital letter, let's say I want to type capital K I'll press the number five a few times until I see capital K. Here we go. If you want to erase, press the clear button. To go to the next character, you simply need to press the right side arrow after you type it. So let's say this is number nine. This is what I want. I'll press right and then I'll be able to type the next number or letter of my password. Once you're done typing your password, press OK. Then you'll see Apply Settings. Press the upper arrow here to confirm and it will start connecting. Once it's connected, you're going to see Connected. Press OK. On your PC computer, go where the Start button is located on the lower left side. Press Settings. Press Devices. Select on the left side Printers and Scanners. And then type and then tap the plus icon here. It will search for your printer. Then select your printer. Select Add Device. It will say Connecting. And at the end, it will be connected and it will be in your printers list over here. OK, great. You see, it says ready. Close these and open any document you want to print. Click the print icon. Make sure your printer is selected, uh, selected here where it says printer. Change these settings if you want to change them and press print. Here we go. Now, what if you want to use the scanner? Open the scan lid, put your paper facing down with the top part of your page towards the left side and then align this corner over here with the corner of the printer simply by gliding until both are touching. Close the lid. You can use the top document feeder as well. If you wish to use it instead, put your documents facing up. Okay, let's say this is my documents with multiple pages facing up again with the top towards the left and glide it over there. If you want to scan on a PC computer, you need to go over here where it says type here to search and type scan. Open the scan app. If you do not see, go on the Microsoft Store and download it. It's made by Microsoft. Many computers come with it included, but if yours didn't, 
you need to download it and it's quite easy to use once you open it go in scanners select your scanner from this list source if you're using the flatbed select flatbed if you're using the top document feeder that i showed you select feeder then choose your um, the file type you would want to um, have after scanning and then press scan button here once this is done you're going to get scan was saved to desktop you can press view to view whatever got scanned go on your desktop and this is where your files will be thanks for watching i hope this was useful if so please leave a like subscribe check my amazon affiliate links down below if you want to get ink and usb cable paper for your printer and i'll see you in the next video